Hey everybody, welcome to AZ Plant Reviews. Since I'm already up here right after recording that trailer video, I figured I would do a little review on the creosote or the Laria Tridentata. That's its Latin name. Sometimes it's known as the chaparral bush or the greasewood bush. It is one of the main, like most notable Sonoran Desert native bushes that exists out there. It's about as Sonoran Desert as the saguaro is. They're everywhere. As you can see, I am currently surrounded by creosotes. There's creosotes here all around me. It's one of the most common plants. It's got these nice yellow flowers on it um, that you can see here if it focuses. There we go. Nice yellow flowers. They form little cotton ball seed packets whenever they're done. Um, one of the most notable parts about the creosote is the smell. It's often known as the Arizona rain smell. It creates a particular smell specifically when it rains and specifically when it rains a lot or when the humidity gets to a certain level, it releases a certain oil and it smells really good and it has some healing properties, but definitely don't eat the plant. If you eat bits of this plant, you'll definitely get sick. Do not do that. <laughs> Um, they're really resilient, obviously, since they're one of the main plants out here in the Sonoran Desert. You can find them at pretty much any nursery, any plant store. They're going to have creosotes out here, and they're really strong, really hardy. They don't, you should give them some water when they're just getting started, but after that, they're pretty independent, and they can handle the hot summers like a champ, um, especially if they're kind of on a hillside where water drains off when it does uh, rain. So they're amazing, they're strong, they're pretty. Um, during the winter, they get a little bit eh looking, but most of the time, like right now in the middle of March, they're absolutely gorgeous things. They live for a super long time. Sometimes they can even live for up to a thousand years. Um, they're great. Again, one of the most notable plants along with the saguaro in Arizona. So I'm going to rate the creosote a solid nine out of 10 for being an amazing, amazing Sonoran Desert planting. All right, see you next time.